I wonder what happened to the trappers around here. The woods are swarmed with spectres. Hopefully, they left. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing over there. Signs of civilization. Look at me. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? Aye, but I always have the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Bad news. The bridge is out. Then we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. Over here. You can climb down. I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it.
I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it. I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it. Go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. This isn't over yet. There's someone inside. Someone tainted. You're back! Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That... 
And the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I? And me to him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow.
He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Quick mist, spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha rule number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. You might be able to drop down from here. Well, I do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. is thicker than a Scots Dragoon, and smells almost as bad. I could show you the way. Wait, that's, that's better, and a little terrifying. Something's nearby. Where is it?
Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. No traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. I summon you! That's not the ritual I'd have used. Through time and distance, I now see. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to... the friend who pushed him. So was Jacob lying to hide the mother? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. something spectral nearby.
a sight on a short stick. Bloody hell. The land's been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still... No tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Was he really hungry enough to eat his friend? Maybe the nightmare had something to do with it. Watch out. Spectre position. Move it, Red. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. Yeah, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Time to 
force the ghost to appear. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McGrath. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought he'd acted willfully, planned it. Tell the truth. They thought I'm a liar. No. Jacob is a kind and godly man. Pure and true, always. He's the very best of us. And yet, though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking. Because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, banisher. What did we do to deserve this? I'm sorry. Despair can drive a good man to a bad place. God only visits hardship upon us because he knows we can bear it. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Day after day, you walk hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? 
No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. If there's a monster here, Jacob, it's you. Speak. Cast off your guilt. Then we'll see what can be done about the shame. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry. So angry. He kept pushing me. We kept we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I fail God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now.
Jacob Lind. You believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. <laughs> 